Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're doing a comparison between the Ninja Foodi Power Blender Ultimate System and the all new Ninja Detect Kitchen System. The Ultimate System is really popular and it's been around for a couple of years. Can the Detect move into that number one spot? Watch this video and find out. So you ready? Let's get into this. One quick note, our reviews are based upon the things that we think are important. That might be a little bit different for you, so what we recommend doing is after watching our video, you pull up a couple of videos from different content creators. That way you can get a much wider range of opinions, concerns, and preferences that'll help you make a much more informed buying decision. And that is the most important thing of all. This is the Ninja Foodi Power Blender Ultimate System and everything that comes with it. And this is the new Ninja Detect Kitchen System. You can see that both systems come with a lot of stuff and they both sort of do the same things. Either one of these setups would be a good choice, but we're going to show you some of the differences and that way you can decide what's most important to you. The Ninja Detect Kitchen System has a 72 ounce pitcher with Ninja's patented murder blade in there, like a lot of people like to call it. Got the blender base, a separate food processing container. You can see the lid on this has a pusher built in. The lid locks in, but you can push this button to unlock it and then slide it sideways to get it to open. It's got a rubber seal on here that does a pretty good job of keeping moisture from making its way out. And inside you can see your regular processing blade. In addition to this blade, it comes with a dough blade that fits in just like that. And it also comes with a processing disc like this. In order to use this, you'd put in the standoff just like that. And this blade would go right on top. Then from there, the lid just snaps back on, just like that. And when you process, that spins around and you use the pusher here to push your stuff down onto those blades. In addition to that, you have a single serve blending cup with its own little blade tree, right there. And once you've blended stuff in here, you can take this to go with a little screw on lid, like that. It even has a spout that snaps on and off just like that. With the Ninja Foodi Power Blender, you actually have two travel cups. You've got a regular cup like this, and you've got a second cup that has a tamper built in, just like this. This one, I have the blade tree sitting on it right there, and it's the exact same blade tree that comes with the Detect system. In fact, this is interchangeable with this. So both of these guys will go on either one of these machines. Right here, we have the exact same lid that comes with the Detect system. Same little locking top on it, except this is gray and that one's black. In fact, that theme carries over to pretty much the entire set. All black and chromey, and over here, all gray and stainless. In addition to the cups, you have two storage lids as well. So if you blend something and you want to put it in the fridge or screw this top on to make sure that it's not going to leak or anything in the bag, you can bring these along with you. Next we have the pitcher. They're almost the exact same design. These are not interchangeable between each other though. But the lids are super similar. The lids look exactly the same, but they're not. You can see underneath here with these pins, they are keyed a little bit differently. So you can set this on here like that, but you're never gonna be able to lock it in. So therefore you wouldn't be able to use it because you can't turn the blender on if this thing's not locked in. See, that doesn't work over there either. Now the approach for the ultimate system is a little bit different than the detect system. This has two separate bowls, one for blending and one for food processing. And this one handles everything in the same pitcher, except you get some different accessories to expand the capability of it. The other parts of this include a dough blade, a different lid for the pitcher, which we'll talk about in just a minute, a standoff for discs, and two discs. We got a slicing and shredding disc, and right here we have a grater. Another thing about these pitchers is that even though the pitchers and the lids are incompatible, the blade tree is. You can see that these two blade trees are exactly the same. Other than the color, there's no difference. So I can use this blade tree in here, and I can use this blade tree in here. I don't know if that's useful to you or not, but if you're upgrading and you end up breaking a blade somehow, and you have this older system, then you can get it. Or if you need a new blade and one is available for this on the website and not for this one or vice versa, then you can actually get that other one and it will still work. Granted, it would be a different color, but what the heck. 
You'll notice that the ultimate system here only has one pitcher instead of having the separate pitcher and the processing bowl like the tech system has. And the reason for that is because we use this pitcher for everything on this. So if you'd like to make some dough in here, instead of using the processing bowl with a dough blade, you would just take a dough blade for the actual blender and you put that right in there like that, put the top back on, and then you would have your settings on the machine. If you want to use the processing discs though, it's a little bit different. You take this off, put this over here, and now we have your standoff, which is a pretty big standoff. It's much taller than the one with the tech system because this is using a bowl that's a lot shorter, obviously, and this is using a pitcher. This goes in here, and then your blade would just sit right on top like that. And then from there, you would use this other lid. This lid is only for the discs. So this would go on just like that. You'd snap this into place, and then now you would have access to disc function on this. You've got a tamper right here that actually separates into two pieces. You've got the large tamper, or you can slide this off like that, and you got a smaller hole here for things like carrots and stuff like that. And you can just push them in just like that. This is actually something that you don't have with the detect system. If you look at the pusher here, it's just one piece. To me, that's an oversight. This is a better design. In fact, I even mentioned that in the review for the detect system. Still kind of a small pusher, they both are, but that is better. Looking at what you get in the box between the two systems, this one only comes with one dual function disc, and this over here comes with two discs. You've got your dual function disc right here, which is the same as that, plus you have your grader. However, one difference is that these discs, since it is in the regular pitcher, are a heck of a lot smaller. So this is actually gonna be more efficient than this. Also, the detect system is 400 watts more powerful than the ultimate system, so it's gonna be just a little bit easier to get through your jobs as well. Another thing that I've noticed with the ultimate system here is since this is in a regular pitcher, it's a little bit harder to get all your processed goodies out of here because it's a little bit harder to work with because this is a little bit more narrow than that. One additional advantage to the Detect system is that if you have a Ninja Professional food processor, all the discs for that are the exact same discs as this. So these right here are the discs that came with my food processor. And if you look at the slicing and shredding disc, it's the exact same disc. However, if you don't have that old Ninja food processor, then this is sort of a moot point. But if you want to get these extra discs, you can always order the ones for the food processor and they will work on this thing too because they don't make those discs for this, at least they're not on the website yet. The way these two systems work are slightly different. With the detect system, when you turn this on, you have three modes. You have manual right there, where you would just start it up and use the dial to change the speed. Next you have blend sense, which is just a one button press. You use either the processing bowl or the regular blending bowl. You hit the button and it will detect exactly what you have in the bowl based upon tension and a few other things. And it will start, stop, pulse, do whatever it has to do to get the job done. And it does a pretty darn good job of it. Next you got a pulse button right here. No big whoop, every blender has one of those pretty much. And then you have a mode button right here, which is again, pre-programmed stuff just for chopping and stuff like this. You can see when I have the blender cup on here, I can either do a large chop, a small chop, or a mince. But if I take that off and put on the processing pitcher, then this goes to large chop, small chop, mince, and also disc. And obviously disc is how you use those discs. The way the ultimate system works is a little bit different. Once you turn it on, you'll see around this disc what options you have available to you. I have a disc in there right now, so all I can do is use a disc function or put it on manual mode. Manual mode is the same as this manual mode. So for an IQ, disc just runs the disc, obviously, like this. And you can see you can't change the speed or anything like that because that's dangerous to spin that disc too quickly. So we're gonna take that lid off and put our regular blender thing on here so you can see the other modes. All right, you can see with the regular blade tree in here, if I'm on manual mode, I can change the speed all the way from one through 10 and I can change that however I want, just like this. Wow, 
that's loud. If I go into IQ mode, these are just pre-programmed settings. You've got a dough setting, which obviously you'd probably want to use a dough blade for, a chop setting, smoothie, bowl, which is like a smoothie bowl, spreads, which would be like nut butters and things like that. And really that's the extent of the programs. Other than that, you just have your pulse button that works like every other pulse button. So you can see that both these machines do really similar things and they accomplish those things in slightly different ways. After using the Ninja Detect system, I really am a believer in the blend sense settings. We tested that with a whole bunch of different stuff and it really did a great job, especially when there was one or two little pieces of something hard left over in the blender. It seems to modify the program a little bit based upon what's happening inside your pitcher. So from that standpoint, the smart functions on this are much better than the ones on this. Like I said before, you can use the disks from the Ninja Food Processor, but if you don't have one of those, it's sort of a moot point. And if you buy them off the website, you are spending extra money to buy those off the website. So that's definitely something to think about. The Ultimate System comes with two cups versus the one, and one of the cups has that tamper built in, which I really, really like. That's another thing I thought was gonna be a gimmick, but it turns out that it works pretty good, actually. Things get stuck back behind the tamper quite a bit, but not really as much as you would think, and it does really come in handy. Yes, you can use this on the Detect System base, but then again, if you don't already have one of these from buying either the Ultimate System or the regular Power Blender, or you're willing to buy one off of the website, then it wouldn't matter that it fits on here because you wouldn't have one, would you? You also have to remember that since we have an extra bowl here, you're gonna have to find a space to store this. And with this system, you got the two cups, so Obviously, you need the space to store the extra cup, plus you got the extra lid, one more disc, and these couple of lids too. So really, it's sort of a wash. Either way, you got lots of parts. As far as testing the system goes, like I said before, we went through a battery of tests with the Detect system, and it handled all those tests really well. And with the Ultima system, we've handled all sorts of blends and processing duties, including using it to make a pepperoni pizza completely from scratch. I wouldn't really complain about the performance of either one of these systems. They both work really well and they get the job done. As far as noise goes, we ran a test on the Detect system with an empty pitcher and it topped off just under 90 decibels. Obviously it's louder when it's empty, but we always run those tests with the thing empty anyway because worst case scenario is probably what you want to see. We haven't run a decibel test on the Ultimate system for a long time, so we're going to do that now, but keep in mind that this system is about two years old, so it might be a little bit louder than it was when it was brand new. But I wanted to run the test anyway to give you a frame of reference. So here's the decimeter on my phone, and we're gonna start this off at level one and move it all the way to level 10, just so you can see how loud it gets. Hmm, well that didn't sound very good. By the way, if this is your first time here and you wanna learn some cool new recipes, get some great cooking tips and tricks and all sorts of other kitchen related things, then start now by subscribing to the channel and clicking the notification bell so you never miss a thing. You can see it's just about the same as far as noise goes. That was like 88 decibels, something like that. The only other real difference here is the height difference. If you're buying a system like this and you wanna leave it on your countertop, you have to take into account whether or not you have upper cabinets. The height on the Ultimate system is about 14 and a half inches, but the height on the Detect system is closer to 17 and three quarters. Our house was renovated before we bought it, and I don't know if our upper cabinets are standard height or not, but where we live, this will not fit under our upper cabinets. It's about a half inch too tall. This fits no problem, obviously, because that's a huge gap. So all things considered, you got quite a few things to compare. One last thing, the peak power on this guy is 1400 watts, and on this, we're talking about 1800 watts. Now that's peak power, it's not sustained, and that kind of power you'd see more during pulsing. But either way, this system's a little bit more powerful than this one. Both the Ultimate System and the Detect System are pretty darn good bundles. In both cases, you get just about everything you need. I've been using that Ultimate System in my kitchen for a couple of years, and it's really never failed me. However, in my opinion, Detect is just a little bit better. 
Being able to use my discs from my old processor really helped put this thing over the top. And if you don't have those other discs, you can always get them off the Ninja website for pretty cheap. If you'd like a little bit more information about the Ninja Foodie Ultimate System or the Ninja Detect Kitchen System, we do have an Amazon affiliate link to both of those down in the description of the video. If you buy either one of those through those links, we do make a small commission, but it doesn't change the price that you pay one cent. If you like this video, then you might like this video right here where we do our full review for the Ninja Detect Kitchen System. If you're thinking about buying that, that's a good video to check out. Well, that's it for now. I hope to see you back again here really soon. And until that time, I'm Joe and I hope you have a phenomenal day. Take it easy.